wonderful people, more welcome to my channel. I'm Charlotte Chi. So today, let's address some energy management. Many people want to know about teleportation, telekinesis, um, bilocation, trilocation, and all these things, and opening their eyes, yet not doing the work it takes to get there. Although we are living truly the age of opening everything up into knowledge the will to manage your consciousness to manage your brain to manage the higher sensitive bodies to manage the eyes to manage the ears everything your body all the molecules and uh, especially your gene pool has been made of is transfusing with new light on the earth and so many people refuse it some don't understand it some are absorbing it by the gallons i would say and that is uh, that makes up a huge difference and uh, but understanding is actually everything as we start to remove all these baggages from the past i must say i had a great comment on my youtube video about the eye of the divine the pineal and opening up the ears like somebody was saying and i'm very grateful for it i like engagement and so i can give more and more so opening up uh some uh yeah q a uh, sort of uh, intermezzo, I would say, would be very interesting. So the more questions I get, the more answers I will give. That is quite the obvious. So saying like, if I listen to that uh, re pre uh, sleep hypnosis, like transmuting trauma and the lungs when doing that for a few times, like during a week uh, or two, uh, that person experienced crying or letting go of emotions and like uh, for a few hours and that is exactly what it does it goes very deep because i work with very very strong uh, symbolism i work uh, i receive myself in the first place i create myself through digital design and then i um put that with the word so the word and creation comes together into a new conglomerate um, fusion or a new place of existence which is very important to understand so those who haven't seen it uh, grab that free videos and let me know if you experience the release of old emotions old trauma old pain there's so much pain in the heart of people it's incredible and that is due to the old suffering everything we had to bear i mean if we look at banking systems economics education it's all rumble tumble you know mud very muddy it's not you know it's not like giving a service and receiving the same price no it's very greedy the setup is very greedy and that is actually what breaks the brain what breaks the heart what breaks our connection and what created fear diseases etc i'm not going to talk about you know what uh, brought us in the matrix as we are rising big time and very quickly into the crystallization of the body the authenticity back into light waves which is uh the creator self creating with life man manifesting with light waves you know if you think for example about the pyramids and the capstone on top of the pyramids how were these big huge stones being placed by pure thought of course i mean you do not have to do any research to have some logic left in your brains right and so there is no machine or no man that can truly uh, do that kind of teleportation uh, in, in that precise manner. So teleportation, telekinesis, 
and um, yeah buy location try location may become very interesting but not for your fun then again for putting out assignment for assisting the planet for assisting the entire um, universe resurrecting with the universe and doing what is being asked from you or putting yourself on your assignment with the divine because that is your true authentic uh, self so because when energy, the, the chi energy, you, you do know, by now I talk a lot, you know, I talk to the crystals. This one is from uh, Mongolia. It's a pink ray within it. It has a lot of iron within it. And so connecting with all the uh, divine stations on the planet is imperative in order to release the old from the heart, especially the limbic system, from the water, from the blood, from uh, your bone construction. So everything your body has been made of, that old system is crashing, as is the crashing, uh, the crash <laughs> in the outside world. So cities are crashing, banking, are cra so many things. So, and uh, it's just, you know, that kind of understanding we need to move into in order to comprehend what it truly takes to understand energy to remove the soul that broke or that got us in this low lazy crazy energy fields that are the matrixes actually and so uh most of them are being removed so another question is yes so the video is very transformative Secondly, if you don't feel changes in your body day and night and you're doing the work and you're connected to your source, your spark, your spirit, the three S's, and you have your imagination, your intuition, your intelligence, the three eyes, if you will, and uh, you can mediate between the physical body and light body and know what it takes to bring that fusion through so the physical needs to uh, coordinate in the first place with the new capsule which is already a celestial body so somehow you need to understand you need to know how to work with light you need to have a foundation to work with i mean if you don't have a house and you're going to buy electricity, where are you going to plug that electrical uh, cord through if you don't have a house or a place to live? There's nothing in the streets, right? So that is the same with your body. If your body doesn't have a plug to plug your electricity back into the divine order sources forces of the divine then there's no way of moving forward and you don't feel anything so the first thing to feel everything is the removal of soul the dumbing of the soul uh the creations in the um, pineal the pituitary the uh, amygdala region actually every gland in the body and in the brain when that work has been done and you install a light body, you work with it every day. So this is how a light body looks like. You configure it with it, you expand. So that particular small design becomes like uh, 10 miles in circumference. And then you open up what was broken, which is the source stone, your philosopher's stone, the um, to receive your information uh, your data from the divine to get um new scriptures through to get design to get directions in your life anything uh um whatever was your origin and moving back in there that is the mover movement actually getting out of the old soul system the solar a system or the astral planes that kills everybody and so many people are channeling the falseness of creation that comes through the astrological belt that is the creation of the hybrids the monsters of the universe actually everything we experience okay so i lay that out in all the other videos i've got five playlists so you can go through them if you want to 
know and gain knowledge because if that passion, that will to move out of you ain't there, then we can search and do research in multiple books. It is non-existent. It is the new you, the new light body going immediately elastic where you start to open up and you work with everything. So you cleanse yourself, you realign on an everyday level, you open up, you start to receive information, you start to become very light in the body because that is imperative. And so actually taught particles of light are then used to uh, completely uh, create sort of a shield, an envelope around uh, your body and a shield of protection. And that is from working with uh, uh, the fundamentals of generating energy. So generating energies, feeling them, feeling extremely light, uh, not having uh, many hours of sleep or not needing them, never ever being uh, in a diseased body, never being sick, never having a flu, never having anything. That is what light body is because you actually create a shield so not even a gun can sh uh, <laughs> shoot through you. That is the truth about it. So, and if we think about people um, like not even being able to focus on a two hour video or a one hour or even half an hour at times is too much to focus on even though the information is so huge, you don't even have to pay for it. And that is even enough, that is, you know, the psychology of uh, resistance, fear, being lazy, being tired, uh, all these things we actually don't want. So it's imperative we start to release that and start to work with the release magic. Like uh, our brains are piled with files, piled with files of old consciousness beginning in the womb beginning in your, uh, you know, when you were a child, growing up, teenager, uh, etc. So they hope there's young people over here as well. They don't have to delete that much. They flow very fast now. They understand high technology a lot easier. But uh, then again, if you look at your iPhone or iPad or a computer, we work a lot with applications. So if you really want to fuse in with light, there is but one thing that makes your body vibrate inside out. And that is, of course, the most obvious thing in the world. That is your breath. Your breathing system needs to run or uplift on an everyday level. And you cannot uplift your breathing system without clearing the lungs for at least a few months clearing the heart circulation, clearing the pulmonary, clearing all the arteries in the brains, clearing the arteries in your entire system, because you know, the oxygen that goes to the blood needs to open up uh, a new um, energy level in a field or a shield of energy. So nobody can steal your energy anymore. And so you can block anyone that wants to come into your brain. Uh, what I mean to say by this is anyone, you know, if you start to think, we think all of the time, right? But if you are thinking about other people, what they think, what they do, you know, anything outside your own embodiment, your own life, your own uh, interests, uh, anything that uplifts you, which 90% of the people of the population do, it means it retracts energy. It steals from you because it's not interesting. It's not even part of you. So that needs to be deleted. And so you get and you build your own energy level. And with it comes the cleansing and uplifting of the body. So working at least with the energy field that is in Makiva in 3D that goes 10 miles. And when you refine and you learn to work with these 
12 first rays of creation, you truly need to learn to work with them. You need to know how to combine them. You need to know the origin of each ray. So I have that all in my mastery class. Uh, you can do it over three months. You can do it in one month and become a master healer. From there on, what people are truly, truly looking for is what I have mentioned for the past uh, uh, weeks and months all over and over yet either way we want to understand it or we don't so what broke us what brought us into soul soul comes from the old solar system soul in Spanish and then created the soul comes from the old solar system the Sun is already repairing and so you need to repair your you know we are part of the sun story, actually. The sun, we have a sun stream that is particular to everybody. Mine, for example, is pink. And that can be done through meditation when you work with that. That is the nucleus of your connection back into a new solar system, a new model of light. So maybe have a look at those videos about parallel universes the old and new models of light so they are crumbling so we are recreating a new tree of life or a model if you will and from that tree of life that new tree of life that breaks through or eliminates the dumping of the chakra system so the chakra system that has wombs, right? You have the eye, you have the crown, the throat, the blah, blah, blah. I don't even want to talk about it anymore because that is exactly what kept you in density and, uh, you know, in neurological diseases and that keeps your energy at the lowest level ever. So uh, in this course, I place a crystal in each chakra so you can lift out of there. And at the end of that uh, three months course, uh, you get a free one on one session with me in which I install the replacement from the old light body into the new, which is the pillar of light. Those who do not want or wish an individual session with me, I will put it on an mp4 and you can get it from me as well because I think there's people that are very much afraid uh, getting into a confrontation seeing what is going on in this on a psychological level but highly self-manipulative mental levels and that also comes from the old files so if we zip out these are just light techniques. You can zip out, you can breathe through light that starts to circulate. But if you don't feel anything, then your breath has been cut off. So opening up the breath of source, the breath of light, clearing the lungs, you need to know how to do it. And so that is very much explained in, in there as well. And then it needs um, integration construction structure uh, into your new foundation which is becoming the elastial body moving with the elastials and universal beings and that is when you have refined your structure that is when you have refined and working on your breath all of the time that is when you do fitness every day you know without fail because it's your fitness level. Either way, you go running, you go dancing, you lift weights, you do whatever pleases you. But it is important to get the circulation of the breathing system through. I can sit here and tell you as much as I want. If you don't experience it, if you breathe in, like I see many breath <laughs> breatharians or whatever, it's a disaster what is being presented as in the uh, divine consciousness, somebody breathes in like this. I mean, how ridiculous does that look? Truly, that means your brain doesn't get any oxygen. Your brain doesn't get any fresh air, let alone your blood circulation, your veins, um, 
anything, your entire embodiment, let alone your light body around you. So, and that is the reason why people age so fast when remaining in soul consciousness, when remaining in the matrix and not having it sold at least a foundation in the crystalline grids. I will talk a lot more about crystalline grids and uh, what uh, they do. But you, if you don't have a foundation, how will you work with it? You need to install it in your home and then it grows in your body of light. And with your body of light and your crystalline grid, the entire universes, everything in creation is made out of crystalline grids that click in the meridians, the universal, elastial, celestial, the body meridians, uh, the energy field meridians, and those meridians click in the acupuncture points. So um, if you, uh, you know, you're just not, or whatever you are and you feel anything that is hurting it means some kind of acupuncture point is diseased is blocked whatever but that takes a huge amount of work so we are not there anymore we are here to remove the the you know that the stuck pattern the old files especially out of the limbic system, every gland in the limbic, your adrenal gland, no more tapping into the old emotions or dramatic circumstances or what people tap into if something is happening on the streets and they're all so curious. You know, it's none of your concern. Delete that, you know. Go by your own energy. And then the kidneys, of course, many kidneys in the back are bloated. And then, of course, where uh, you, many people have a lot of that weight is in the root, the sacral, and uh, the uh, solar center, the old solar center. So when you move into an elastial body with a pillar of light shining wide, <laughs> And that takes quite some education, but that sort of education, that is where you start to feel every day, like, you know, I'm <laughs> like doing transplants in your body, in your brain on an everyday level. And when you have uh, the results of that and you start to circulate, you start to receive information, then you co can open up. Uh, many more grids and you work actually in a team formation a team format and then that becomes interesting because they can assist you to refine the body to hold the grids especially at night so no dense or negative energy can fuse in your brain and do whatever they want as they are used to doing that to keep you in low consciousness and so Raising and feeling the energies, like when I sit here, my energy, I feel them through my feet, my finger, my face when I speak, it's like circulating like this. And that is big fun because from there on, you start to clear more and more beyond the first pair, two pairs of eyes. And you work like uh, what is a divine eye? A divine eye is very personal, needs to be set in a crystalline grid with, for example, the tiger's eye gemstone. And that needs to attach to a crystal ball that is the Madagascar. I've been talking about it many, many times. So you, you get so much information here, but when it comes to doing, you may fail, right? And so that is just making that little bridge, choosing where do you want to go? Do you just want to live a life being peaceful, lifting your energies? Or do you really want to participate in creation and stay here for the next hundred of years? Because that is what will come in 2022 is definitely the year that eternity is being blasted back on the planet, you know, to the two signifies a six, a six is a nine, a nine, six, whatever is an eternal spiral, the highest mountain of creation. If we look at the crab energy, the orange way, so creation is restoring itself is what it actually means. So opening up, um, 
the eternal spirals, you need to work with these t 10 first rays opening up to the, uh, uh, no, the 12 first rays opening up to the 10 higher, making up 22 as well. There is a reason why. So uh, in that course, you learn to work with all those rays and then you can open up to languages of light. So I have a few uh, MP4s that already work with a language of light. It's very beautiful because it, it opens the crowning glory uh, of creation, opening up uh, the lotus, and then you can move into a new flower of life. Then you can move into the power of life. Then you can move with sources and forces. If you dig deep, truly, and you really want to move, then think about what is your body made of. It is carbon, it is hydrogen, it is, um, what do we have? Nitrogen, the whole uh, cone dimension actually. So um, then we need to fuse them in where the body, I, I term it forces, these are elements, elements of forces. And these forces or elements from which the body is made of are connected to divine sources. Those sources, sources were cut off through the matrix. So the crystalline grids at some point in his tree broke. That was where the monsters of the universe came in, kept the density and kept us in captivity and everything you experience. I mean, there's more, more than enough data about that, these effects, right? So uh, disease never existed for a huge, huge amount of time. But anyways, it's uh, imperative we move out of this and we connect our divine sources, uh, forces, pardon me, way back to the origin of your divine sources. And when your forces reconnect with the divine sources from your origin, you start to change your DNA back into the origin, which is the mutation from cells into light parts. And that is where your life starts to open up more and more and more. And being interested in bilocation because it may become a necessity in the future if we are to restore every disaster on the, on the planet. And so with all that movement from a light body into an celestial foundation at least, moving celestial universal, that is what I will be teaching um, in the incoming years, and you have already the foundation to move with it, then your body becomes lighter and lighter and lighter, and with it comes the alchemy, the universal alchemy, celestial, elastial alchemy, so there's different levels to partake of, to have fun with, to exper experiment with, you need a foundation. You cannot ask for something to fuse in because it comes through the meridians, through the grids. You have been installed through the work that you do. If you want to install a tiger's eye, if you want a grid, uh, the grapevine grid, a sun grid, a moon grid, there is millions, the eye of the divine, the omni eye grid, uh, the tiger's eye grid. You need to know where it comes through, how to do it, how to place your gemstones. So it's all a learning zone, but then again, it's massively uh, interesting. So uh, here, you know, uh, the only thing I wanted to say here is understand when you take about energy and you start to fuse a source with your force, like for example, the free sleep hypnosis to transmute your lungs and trauma on a soft level, then my source or output through the word and through music connects with your force and start to fuse in, repair, transmute, pull out, and that is when you release emotions. So it's very important just to understand that smaller part. And so it's, uh, you know, generally 
it's um, like it may be very lengthy it may be very short and so at times there comes like a sort of polarization uh, when energies are matching and so from that level on this is just one example but imagine if you move to 22 of these mp3s like i have in this mastery course the eternal heal out self then you can heal out other people you can hold grits the more you can hold grits and walk around with it, the more you be assisted with Masters of Light, with the Angelic Kingdoms, and see them crystal clear. You see more and more and more every day. And the technology of the Eye of the Divine, when installing the celestial body that is a capstone in your brains because it has been taken away, then you need a purified brain so there's a lot of levels to purify first before that can happen and that is logic right we cannot fuse a dance capstone or a, let's a capstone in dance i mean a capstone in a dance brain that there ain't no logic right uh that would be uh you know very disrespectful a wooden function you need a clear brain to get a clear capstone so uh, that is all there is to us energy needs to match energy and this is reason why when your energy doesn't match the higher elastic universal vibrations and you remain on soul instead of spirit consciousness then you don't feel the energies moving and so this year we are moving um most physicians know it but they don't dare to talk about it uh the air, if you look at the earth plane it has an axis position right so a north and south pole and the north and south pole already changed a lot and so as the earth is moving and moving there is a great renewal in its axis so the turning point back into the universe you may feel it slow but we are going to feel it at a huge level and with each level upward because the earth ascended in the atrocities of manipulation disease and and, and destruction so did we but the earth is moving out of it and so if we want to remain on the earth moving back into its uh, original axis position with all the universes and no more you know in the density of that old solar system we need to move with it right if we don't then we remain here and that means we move on to the other side okay that is in short and so that is reason why many will experience difficult times uh, more and more negativity and density when not aligning to a light uh, foundation not doing the work not working with your source your spirit your origin actually and uh, while everything is being offered on a platter even if you do not want to do the bigger courses or anything there is a small foundation at least to setting in your light body your makiva and uh, you know place a foundation of a grid around it so you can move quickly into the elastic body the pillar of light that removes that dense body that heaviness and that emotional body actually so you can move very very quickly in a disease-free life piled and piled with positive vibes and energies and that makes up a huge difference so i hope this was a little bit more clear so let me know in the comments what kind of energies do you work with are there any crystals you work with why do you choose a particular color or crystal or is it just attraction or is it knowledge so there's a huge difference between attraction and knowledge and these day around both do not go together anymore as the you know in soul consciousness so it's no more about that and um, another important thing here is also to work with 
color configurations, knowing them and uh, how to move with a particular, let's say, team of light or a master of light that elaborates on the technology of a particular color and then your life becomes interesting. So let me know what are you most of the time attracted to? Do you have a specific, mine is always purple. I mean, I could eat purple <laughs> and it's connected to my sensory image just the pink way. So um, I've been giving a lot of free things here. So you may experience getting into your own sun stream uh, that is somewhere in a video and experiment with it. But the bloating and the heavy stuff in the intestinal tract, the stomach, the liver, uh, the kidneys, that needs to go. So you feel very flat in that area and you feel like the lightening up comes from the new garden of Eden grid. And the new, the Edenic way, that is the sacral center, the creator cell, that is where new life starts off. And you know, when you're st stuck in the lower three centers, then all you can do is the elimination of these centers with a light body and move up elastial. And that is, you know, not uh, that easy it needs construction once you get there and you start to work with energies especially the grids and the meridians and letting them click in and then just work with one way would already be fantastic but that's you know it's um having you know that uh structure that strong foundation that uh, needs to be there for you to become a foundation into light, into the all-seeing eye, opening up, crystallizing the ears so you can hear um, the universe is talking to you. And that is where we are heading. And then your life becomes interesting because you hear what you need to do. You hear from your higher selves, which is the universal self downloading into the capstone. If you don't have a capstone, you can't do it. You see, everything clicks into everything. So I truly hope this video was of help to you. So uh, if so, thank you so much for subscribing, liking, sharing my channel as well, and uh, supporting my growth process. So let me know what is your favorite color for this week, because it may change a lot, right? Charlie Chi logging out. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it.